What's up, guys? This is David coming at you from Organic Press Books with a, another DC uh, new release, but it's an old book. Well, not an old book. It's just a reprint, a 2023 reprint of Wonder Woman by Gail Simone. Nice. Now, I remember this one uh, whenever we had, a, at the beginning of doing whatnots, people were always looking for this one as an out of print. I'm glad we finally got it back. And if you've been waiting for it, now you can get it. So let's take a look at it. Here is the front. Very nice. The drawing on this looks amazing. Spine. And the back. Now I feel personally, this is just me personally, that the cover could have been a little bit uh, more vibrant color wise. Like I feel like the yellow over here is very uh, desaturated, very pale. Same thing with the color. The white kind of overshadows everything and she does pop out a little bit but there's like white here on her like skirt area waist that's just kind of like paling everything for me like I just feels really pale compared to like Wonder Woman being such a colorful character that's just me so again fine in the back uh, let's take a look underneath <clears throat> cool okay uh, it's a nice it just has like the Wonder Woman and like the, the lettering here like there's a design on the back something like I don't know, like, it, it looks like it's supposed to be kind of textured or marbled, maybe, but um, pretty simple. I kind of wish it was a little bit different, but maybe it pertains to the story as you read it. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Wonder Woman by Gail Simone and see what's up. All right, see, I'm, well, from the overview, you can see it's very light, like, it's very, uh, I keep thinking pale. That's what's coming to my head, pale, you know, desaturated, maybe. Um, but yeah, this Wonder Woman uh, by Gail Simone Omnibus, like I said, I think it's probably one of the better runs for her, uh, from what I've been told. You know, it, it, it really does hold up. And let's see. Yeah, the artwork looks amazing. See how this is bright. This is brighter, I feel like. And sometimes it's, it's on the other one, it shows a little bit darker. Uh, the artwork is great. I love it. Looks good. Wonder Woman looks majestic and powerful and and royal. Oh, so let me tell you a little bit about this one. Let me grab this thing right here. Okay. Life comes full circle. Once upon a time on Paradise Island, a baby girl sculpted from clay was given human life and great abilities by the gods, eventually becoming the greatest superheroine, superheroine humankind had ever known. But not everyone was happy that Princess Diana came into the world that day. Dark forces were at work that would not come to fruition, fruition for decades. What exactly is the circle? And what deadly secrets do they hold about Diana's birth? What familiar face from Wonder Woman's past returns with a mission to spy on Special Agent Diana Prince? And why is the Department of Metahuman Affairs on a collision course with the wounded remnants of the Society of, the, of Supervillains? Wonder Woman crosses the globe on a journey that shakes her to her core. This exciting adventure and others are collected here on, in Wonder Woman by Gail Simone Omnibus, featuring striking Aaron, uh, art by Bernard Chang and Aaron Lepresti. This volume collects all acclaimed writer Gail Simone's incredible tales featuring the amazing Amazon, collects stories from Wonder Woman uh, number 14 to 44, Wonder Woman number 600, Sensation Comics featuring Wonder Woman number 1, and Wonder Woman 75th Anniversary Special number 1. <coughs> Ooh! <coughs> <clears throat> so, definitely uh, have a very big, oh, Aries. <coughs> <coughs> very big part of Wonder Woman's uh, story here. And, like I said, Gail Simone is, is from what I've, from what I've uh, heard, this was one of her best starring, uh, tellings for Wonder Woman. And if you have read it, do you agree with it? Do you like it that much? This is a nice drawing. I like that. Uh, Wonder Woman is a very complex character to me just because of the fact that she has so much history, not only in the DC Universe, but also like, you know, uh, old gods and the pantheon of Greek gods sort of thing that she gets kind of her powers from and uh, the whole thing, mascara, all of that. So she does have a lot of back history to work with. So, you know, writing her well 
is an accomplishment by itself, so I, I'm, I'm excited that this got a reprint. Oh, look, cool. Green Lanterns. And, you know, if people, or if you've been waiting for this, I'm glad you were able to get it. <clears throat> Let's see if there's any extras in the back. Yeah, definitely a lot of different art styles, but all of them look really, really good. The Joker. Have the, ooh. I mean, Wonder Woman would not take pity on the Joker at all. Like, she would just... Mm. Okay, so let's take a look. Now still more. Okay, bonus selection. A little bit. It's not too bad. Let's see what we get. Oh, these are very nice covers. Huh. This one, Frank Quitely. Yeah. Uh, he did um, All-Star Superman. And he did some of the... Did, did he do All-Star Batman? And Robin? Yeah, maybe. It looks good. That artwork is very unique for him. <clears throat> Francis the Manifold, very cool. Nice. Yeah, this looks really good. I like this, the contrast between the colors and then like the white albino gorillas. Very cool. Some of the black and white, some of the sketches here. Very nice. All right. There you go, guys. So hopefully you've been waiting for this and now you can get it finally. Uh, let me know if it's something that's definitely on your checklist that you need to buy. Get it at Organic Price Books, guys, and I will see you in the next one.